Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. Today we are talking about some arrest records that are being released, you guys, from Marceau Scott and Letitia Scott, you guys, shortly after some things were released about Kiki. And I, I just have to say, you guys, um... I'm still doing some investigative work. You guys have been blowing up my DMs, though, and I am trying to get to everybody. I'm trying to answer everybody, but I just wanted to do a quick reaction that it is always the people that have the most to say. It's always the people that have the most negativity, that have the most hate and everything else that are the first ones that when, you know, things start to trickle out about them, when there's a threat of a major secret or something major about them to be exposed, we start to see the little trinkets. We start to see the little receipts of things that we have not been aware of for four seasons. I want to say, though, I believe there was Marceau. I believe I saw Marceau's mugshot before, though, prior to... Um, this recent development, but didn't know about Tisha, which explains even further why she was ready at the Galentine's Day episode in tennis shoes and why she was ready to, you know, instigate the fight that took place a few weeks ago um, with Melody, Sheree, and um, of course, Letitia's mom, Phonix, unhooked you guys. But who is surprised at this point? Because I'm not. So that leaves what Melody, Kimmy, and Maurice, as far as we know, that do not have a criminal past, that do not have an arrest record, that do not have, you know, a mugshot that we are aware of at this point. So there is that, you guys. But it's just wild out here. It is completely wild out here in terms of now all of a sudden people's information and i think this is the real reason that tisha did not want kiki on the show that is the real reason because kiki knows enough to completely destroy the scots kiki knows enough that is going to blow the lid off of everything you guys but what i do not understand is why marceau and tisha can't get it together they first say that they don't want to pay attention to social media. Then they get on social media and try to alienate and insult their fans. Those people who are following you are your fans and want to engage and interact with you. And instead you talk down to them and you insult them. And then you use it to further insult Melody Cherie and bash her. But then you also use it to embarrass yourselves because you're never on the same page and then you're cracking jokes about cheating which basically is adding more fuel to the fire because you're low-key confirming things um by saying certain comments so it's like this this is counterproductive it is counterproductive and you know all of this responding all of these lives now all trying to you guys didn't like it when melody sheree was on social media and promoting the show and going on lives all the time and this and that but now all of a sudden you guys are doing it and it's okay if you do it but what's happening now is people are reacting to the fact that you guys don't look solid that you guys do not look on the same page and Marceau continues to play in Tisha's face. So there is that. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are about the mugshots. There's a lot of Love and Marriage Huntsville stuff that I have got to catch up on, you guys. And I promise I will get those videos out this week. Um, it's just been crazy busy. But I did just want to quickly react to the mugshots because it's just funny all of the nasty things that are being said about Melody Cherie that were engineered by the Scots on and off the show. And lo and behold, look whose receipts, look whose tea is getting spilled. Look whose tea is getting exposed, you guys, once again. Because at this point, what is there left to expose about Martell Holt that we don't already know, you guys? So I have no idea why Tisha and Marceau thought it was a good idea 
to prop themselves as the new power couple, as the new it couple of the show when you can't handle the responsibility. You can't handle what comes with that. You can't handle the publicity and being in the blogs all the time and the like, like what happened with the Holtz, you guys. You cannot handle it. So why even poke the bear? Why even try to make it seem that you could poke the bear? Only for this to backfire so hard on you. So hard on you. But that was all I really wanted to say. Like I said, I have some more videos coming of some other reactions I need to have as it pertains to Love and Marriage Huntsville. Your girl has been busy, though, so we're trying to um, catch up, and I will promise I'll answer your guys' messages and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's just been a lot. It has just been a lot that is going on. Um, but please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.